Welcome to the Comic Bugs 2013 Free Comic Book Day Preview Video. So you guys are going to go see Iron Man Friday, I'm sure, May 3rd. Wake up the next morning, May 4th, and come on down to the Comic Bug where we have thousands of free comics lined up for you, dozens of comic book creators, and a whole bunch of fun. I'm going to walk you through it as fast as I can. I'm going to tell you about all the awesome creators we've got coming in. And uh, stick around because they're going to have uh, some chances to win some really cool stuff. If you share our event page on Facebook, you'll see the URL right here. Um, we're going to be raffling off some really awesome back issues, hardcovers, awesome, awesome stuff. First up from Marvel Comics, Infinity. Now, you guys uh, that aren't comic book readers out there, you got a little taste of this guy at the end of the Avengers. Who knows, he might be popping his head up in Iron Man 3. Uh, and we don't know if the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be taking them on or if it's going to be the Avengers 2 plot or what. But, in here you can learn more about Thanos, the galactic menace who's always trying to impress Death. I don't want to show you too much. But in the back I will say that there's some really awesome old school Jim Starlin reprint stuff. Next up we have Superman, Last Son of Krypton. And this one's by uh, Jeff Johns and the great Richard Donner. It's actually a reprint of a Superman comic from probably about five or six years ago. Gorgeous artwork by Adam Kubert. A lot of you probably don't have this one. Check it out for free here at the Comic Bug. Superman finds out he's a baby daddy. Hmm. Walking Dead fans, here's your ticket right here. This is the free Comic Book Day 2013 Walking Dead edition. It's got a brand new story. I do believe that there is uh, three eight-page stories in here. Uh, the origin of Michonne, the origin of the governor and the origin of somebody else. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Well, there's actually more than Star Wars. Flip it over, you got Avatar. Look inside, you've got Captain Midnight by my buddy Josh Williamson. And there's something else in here too, no, maybe just those three. Anyway, three comics for the price of none. Can't beat that, can you? Bongo Free For All. Now we're gonna have uh, the artist here, Phil Ortiz, who's with the artist of the Simpsons comic. He can sign this for you. If you buy a Simpsons graphic novel, he'll do a free sketch for you too. So that's going to be on Free Comic Day. Archie, now the, the America's oldest teenager. Starting to show his age, I think, like Dick Clark. Not, not as bad. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. America's oldest kids franchise. Just This thing is, uh, these guys are making a comeback like Menudo or uh, New Kids on the Block or something. Ninja Turtles are awesome. Started out as a parody of Frank Miller comics back in the day, but has just grown into a life of its own. You want this one, Graham? I'm gonna throw it to you, because it's free! All right. Ugly Dolls! These guys are everywhere. Now, a lot of you don't know, we're in Manhattan Beach. Uh, the uh, creator of Ugly Dolls is also in Manhattan Beach. That's Dave Horvath, and uh, this is illustrated by the awesome James Kolchaka. A lot of fun for the kids, and it's gonna be here, and it's gonna be free. Kaboom Summer Blast. Now that might not be so exciting to you if you don't know, but take a closer look, boys and girls. We've got Adventure Time. We've got Snoopy. We've got Hero Bear and Kid coming back. That's a great book. If you like Calvin and Hobbes, check out Hero Bear and Kid. Now, I'm surprised there's no My Little Pony in here, but there's not. Uh, but there is a regular show, Garfield, Ice Age, lots of stuff that the kids will dig and enjoy. Elmo! Remember Elmo? Elmo's been going through some hard times as of late, but it doesn't matter. He's here in comic book form, and if you flip it over, you can man up with some star, uh, strawberry shortcake. Moving on to some of the other offerings at Free Comic Day this year. Here's one of my personal favorites. This is uh, Buck Rogers from the 25th century, or in the 25th century. These are reprints of the old newspaper strips, I think from the Sunday pages. A lot of really cool space cadet fun for us old school guys like me. Uh, if you want this, show up early because we didn't get a ton of them. <laughs> Same with uh, Prince Valiant here. Beautiful Hal, Hal Foster artwork. Um, and these, I believe, are being printed by Hermes Press, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, awesome stuff. If you want to learn about comic book collecting, you want to learn about the comic book industry, here's two awesome offerings, Bleeding Cool. We carry this magazine in the store. It's probably the greatest comic book website out there. Uh, I look like a guru. I look like I know everything to my customers because I read Bleeding Cool every day. And uh, this is a uh, Overstreet comic book marketplace. It tells you about how to take care of your comics, how to grade your comics, how to price your comics, maybe even how to sell your comics. Okay, here's some other cool off the beaten path offerings. Atomic Robo. Now this, I believe, made its premiere as a free comic day 
exclusive many years ago. It's gone on to be, be become an Eisner winning series, and uh, they're still at it. Check it out. Red 5 Comics, they do a lot of fun stuff. Aphrodite 9, this is a Top Cow character uh, making her come back. And I think this looks really cool. It's got like a painted artwork uh, by, I'm going to mess up his name, but Stefan Sijek, I'm going to guess, is his name. Written by Matt Hawkins. Uh, cool sci-fi fun. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I want to take her home. Absolution by Christos Gage and Daniel Getty. And I, this is from Avatar. Avatar does some of the more hard-hitting uh, comics out there from the likes of Garth Ennis and, and uh, Warren Ellis and uh, others. And Absolution is one of their dark superhero takes. And then Always Awesome, 2000 AD. This one's bigger. It's magazine size, just like 2000 AD magazine. Judge Dredd came out of 2000 AD many years ago. And there's all sorts of really cool sci-fi trouble you can get yourself into. Stan Lee. Stan Lee's been exploring his Indian side as of late. Uh, this is Chakra, the Invincible. I once had my Chakra checked and uh, said it's pretty good. So maybe I have potential to be just like Chakra. Gilbert Hernandez, half of the fabulous Hernandez brothers, Marble Season. This, I believe, is all ages, drawn a quarterly. Um, one of the greatest comic creators out there, still doing it. Uh, deserves all the great reputation that he has. Valiant 2013. These guys made their comeback last year uh, and they have blossomed. Let me tell you, um, my buddy Joshua Dysart writes Harbinger and uh, he's now writing his first company crossover, Harbinger Wars. Been doing a lot of interesting things with it. Um, when Valiant first came out 20 years ago, they really did set a standard of quality and, uh, you know, comic industry kind of imploded, they're back, uh, they're being run by some guys that are hardcore Valiant fans from way back when, and they're doing it right, I gotta say. Umbrella Academy fans, you wanna check this out. The Killjoys, True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys by Gerard Way, R.I.P.D., uh, this is going to be a major motion picture this year, that always gets people excited, so uh, check that out. And then flip it over here, we got Mass Effect, I think that's a video game, I don't know because I don't work at GameStop. Um, <laughs> Damsels, Mermaids. Uh, this is written by none other than not Alan Moore's daughter. The first series was written by Alan Moore's daughter. And you can tell. But this is written by Matthew Sturgis. Fubar! What's Fubar stand for, Graham? Do you know? And maybe Batman. I think it. Look that one up, kids, on the Urban Dictionary. Uh, Fubar is from. Who's that from? I don't know. I don't know who it's from, but Fubar. Maybe there's some zombies in Kyle. I should read that so I know what, what that is. Grimm. Grimm is a, is a popular... This, this comic is based on a popular series which is based on fables. <laughs> uh, Judge Dredd classics. Some old school Judge Dredd here. I bet this is by Carlos Siskiza. No, it's not. Oh, some Brian Boland Judge Death stuff is in here. That is some of the best Judge Dredd comics out there. And it's going to be free here at the comic club. Can I kiss you in the video? Yes, at the end. Go sit on the couch. In the end, okay? Right. I know, I know. Uh, Louis L'Amour, for all you gunslingers out there, we've got a Louis L'Amour Western comic. That looks actually pretty good. Hmm. Ramayan. From Vir this is a, a graphic, which I think used to be Virgin Comics. Anyway, they're uh, get in touch with your uh, you know, inner chakra again with Ramayan. Now here's a new company. Every year at, at uh, Free Comic Day, a couple new companies make their debut. This time we've got Comics Tribe and their new their book Red Ten here. Check this out. Fancy. Graham, be quiet. Okay, The Tick. You know them, you love them. Spoon! Bring your spoon, get a free comic. And we were talking earlier about the old school Valiant stuff. It looks like Valiant's gonna get into some reprint business here with uh, Valiant Masters. Uh, you'll get some Joe Quesada Ninjak, some Barry Windsor Smith uh, Eternal Warrior. Um, you know, classic, classic creators making classic comics. Worlds of Aspen. Aspen's doing a major uh, sort of relaunch this year. They're, they are celebrating, well, Fathom is 15 years old. Aspen is 10 years old. So it's, you know, two major landmarks here. Um, Fathom is relaunching. Um, there, there's, there's nine new titles that, that Aspen is putting out. 
including ones we're familiar with like Soul Fire and uh, Kara's Magic and Shadow Clan. And then there's new titles like Journey, which is really nice. Good stuff by JT Cruel. Oni Comics here. Now, years ago on Free Comic Day, Oni debuted a little book called The Six Gun, which if you look on eBay at six gun prices, they are through the roof, including the Free Comic Day one. So who knows, is this the next six gun, The Strangers? It could be, you never know. But, you know, for free, it's not really that hard to invest in it, is it? I love Free Comic Book Day. So here's some of the, there's a ton of kids comics this year for Free Comic Day, more than ever before, including Beware the Batman. Yeah, I think there's a new Batman cartoon coming out. Is that exciting? Yeah. Check that out. So, you want that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it to you. See, you're my son, so you don't have to wait till May 4th. Archie again, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is gonna, there's gonna be a free Dragon Ball comic. Flip it over and there's, watch how I mess this up. Rurouni Kenshin. Nah, you don't need that. Okay, Hulk and the Agents of Smash. Check that out. I already gave you that one, didn't I? Yeah. Molly Danger. For the ladies out there, Capstone presents Mr. Puzzle. I like that one. You like that one? I'll give it to you. And that's by Chris Iliopoulos, who uh, is a great letterer too, and it's got a really uh, fun kid style. Action Time Buddies. This is by Fred Perry, best known for Gold Digger. Um, but this guy, I don't know how he does it. He makes about three or four comics a month. He's amazing. You should do that one. Oh, Ava's his, his girlfriend. Uh, Disney Fairies, Tinkerbell. Um, you want to give that to Ava? Yeah. Well, let's, let's wait. Tell her to come to Free Comic Day. She doesn't get it. She's not good. She shouldn't have the privilege to do that. Uh, Endangered Weapon B and the Tentacles of Doom. Wow, that's an Indiana Jones reference, isn't it? I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, I like that one. Okay, well, look. Okay. Finding Gossamer. And this is from the same people that brought us Stuff of Legend, and that's a flip book. Who would have thought that'd be on the other side? This is a great, great book. Good stuff. Dad, what? Um, that one will share, right? Okay, we'll share it. Cool. We have the Smurfs. Do you like the Smurfs? Yeah. Smurfs, all right. And ooh, who's that? Power. What does Daddy say about Power Rangers? Power. They're lame. <laughs> Top Shelf Kids Club with Owly. And that's the only one. Oh, Johnny Boo. Johnny Boo and Owly, and then some other people I don't recognize. One second. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. We Everybody loves Gavin. SpongeBob. Gavin likes it. We but Gavin like oh tell Gavin to come to Free Comic Day at the yeah. Comic Bug. Yeah, in Jackson Beach. And check this out. You know who that is? A Sonic. I like that one. Sonic, and then we flip it over, and who's that? Uh, uh huh. Mega Man. Mega Man. I like <laughs> that one. Now. Elmo. Sesame Street has reared his ugly head again. Scratch Nine for all you kitty cat lovers out there. And Dad, like so I'm gonna, you know, you, you guys are seeing me flip these over it's because sometimes there's Dad, other stuff on I the like back. The Sonic one. Okay, well we'll talk about that later. Rated free for everyone. And the Krogan Adventures and Merman. That actually looks like a lot of fun. This is from Oni Press. These guys always make amazing stuff. Pippi Long Stockings. Old school reprints of uh, Pippi Long Stockings comics. Flip it over and you have Anna and Froga. You like that group? Yeah. Yeah. For the jocks out there, we got a little something for you too. We don't want to leave you out. I know you picked on us geeks for years. That's okay. We're over it. I like that. Welcome back to our world. You go see all of our blockbusters. I like that. And now we've made a comic just for you. NFL Rush Zone! Tackle it! Come in! Tackle the line! Come get NFL Rush Zone! Snap into I like it. That. All right? I like it. You like that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we have Royden Leps Rust, and this is from Arkea, who did a fabulous, fabulous hardcover last oh, year. Uh, and this year they're just making us awesome comics, and that's all they really I need like to do. And you flip that over, and you have a very tattered, because <laughs> I've been carrying this around for a couple days, David Peterson's Mouse Guard. See, if this was a hardcover, it wouldn't be this tattered. And we have a literal slew of comic book talent here at the Comic Bug on Saturday, May 4th. I'm gonna go through some of our guests. We have my favorite writer in comics currently, Rick Remender. He uh, is the creator of Fear Agent, which you've heard about if you've ever been to the comic bug. Currently, he's writing Uncanny Avengers and Captain America. He's awesome. He's great with people, too. Uh, he used to be an artist, so he might even be doing sketches. I don't know. Don't hold him to it. Uh, Richard Starkings. This guy is a titan in the comic book industry. He lettered Killing Joke. He's, he's, he's lettering Batman now. 
and he's the writer and creator of Elephant Man, which is one of the greatest sci-fi sort of parables of war and love and everything else that's, you know, wrong with the world today, but it's a good comic. Scott Koblish, artist of Deadpool number seven, he's, he's drawn a bunch of other stuff too for Marvel and DC. He's been around for a long time, he's awesome, he'll draw anything you want, he's amazing. Come down, meet him. He used to have curly hair, he just shaved his hair off, so it might be hard to recognize. Gambit writer James Asmus will be here. He's also the writer of End Times of Ben and Brom, and I just learned he's going to be writing Quantum and Woody, so you can ask him all about that for Valiant Comics. Uh, now, Vince Hernandez did not write Soul Fire, but he, he's going to be bringing a bunch of the Aspen guys with him. He's the writer of Charismatic. He is a charismatic creator, and uh, he, can, uh, he can shake your hand and don't ask him to draw any pictures, but he's off. He, he's great with hugs. Rafael Navarro, creator of Sonambulo, will be on hand. And uh, announcement time, Rafael and I have cooked up an awesome micro-brewed comic for you guys at Free Comic Day here at the Comic Bug. Only available at the Comic Bug. It's called Guns Ablaze, and it's essentially a uh, uh, Dukes of Hazard meets, meets Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and it's a lot of fun. And if you flip it over, we're going to have a, another comic called The Mustastronauts, uh, another home-brewed gem here from the Comic Bug by uh, Neil Von Flew and Stephen Cazares. And uh, very proud of those. The only way you can get them is by coming to the Comic Bug. Come early because we only have 500 copies, and uh, those will be here. Um, we also have Xenoglyphs by Omar Spahi. Uh, well, Omar is going to be here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be free at the comic book or not, but he'll be here. He'll be selling it or giving it away or something, but you'll have to ask him. Uh, we have the director of Comic Book Independence. If you haven't seen this documentary, it's fantastic. It's uh, Chris Brandt. He also does uh, some of the production and lettering on, on some of the comics we make here at the comic book. Let me go through real quick. Uh, this is an ugly handwritten note. I just want to let you know who else is going to be here. Look at that. Uh, this doesn't fit on one page, does it? We're gonna have Black Metal's Chuck Beebe, and he's got a brand new property. He's gonna be telling you guys about Metal Kitty. Hopefully, he'll have some T-shirts. Jeff Stokely, the uh, the artist of a fantastic new graphic novel called The Reason for Dragons. Uh, we've got Kevin Altieri, who you might know from Batman the Animated Series. He's one of the key directors of that show. Uh, Just Jen. Now, Just Jen, check her out. Check out our website. She is what I like to call a She's like the geek version of Martha Stewart. She makes Death Star cupcakes, Walking Dead, you know, brownies. Uh, she's amazing. And she's got a, a comic that uh, is based on her grandma. It's called OG, Original Grandma. I believe it was around before that Twitter, you know, SH stuff, my dad says. Anyway, it's, but it's about stuff her grandma says. And that comic's gonna be here. She's gonna be here. Uh, we have Human Flies, Michael Oshanker, Man Fighting Streets, Ralph Miranda. Sunless Circus's Chris Kawagiwa, uh, Louis Calderon, who has a, a new comic out called Black Hand and Brown Fist, and uh, Steam Funk's Don Schmidt is going to be here too. And a lot of these guys are going to be drawing sketches for you all day long. They're going to be rocking, they're going to be rolling. Speaking of rock and roll, we got a rock and roll band coming too, the Do It's. My buddy Sean Johnson and his girlfriend Maria are coming down from Silver Lake where they just, you know, there's like a hipster well there, and they're driving all the way down here to rock your socks off that night. The Comic Bug is sponsoring a roller derby team too, so you can come down and meet the Beach City Roller Derby Girls. We also have Wonder Woman, the Scarlet Witch, the Baroness, and for the ladies, Batman and Captain America. So bring your cameras, bring lots of film, or bring lots of memory, and I promise you are going to walk away with tons of memories from the Comic Bug. A free Comic Day, May 4th, 2013. We're going to be letting the line in at 11. I recommend showing up early. I recommend bringing bottles of water. I recommend wearing comfortable shoes and bright clothing so it doesn't absorb the sun as you wait outside. And don't forget to share our Facebook event page with all your friends on Facebook for a chance to win some of these awesome hardcovers, trade paperbacks, gift certificates, toys, t-shirts, whatever we can throw at you. And if you can't make it to the comic bug on Free Comic Day, go to www.freecomicbookday.com and find other stores like us that are hosting awesome events. It's a nationwide event. If you're in Utah, if you're in Massachusetts, if you're in Florida, if you're in Texas, there's a comic store near you, I promise. And they're gonna be doing some really cool stuff on May 4th. So, hope to see you there, hope to see you here. Have fun, America.